Howdy, and hello, I'm Doe, hope you're doing good, and welcome to the new hardest mission in Helldivers 2, when playing solo. Group play's a bit different, I'll explain that later. It's later. Group play is far easier when teammates are spamming mortars, especially the EMS one. That stuns everything except for Bile Titans and potentially Chargers. And that is crazy. But mortars are so freaking boring. More on this at the end of the video. These Titans are what make it so challenging. Look at the amount of them. And just know they can one shot the thing I'm supposed to I'm supposed to protect with their pinky toes. The doggy damage is off the charts. What can I say? I'll be explaining the loadout. I'll put some screenshots up here because I go through pretty fast on accident here. And I'll also talk about my starting position and then ramble about other stuff as we go. Localization confusion booster. That mitigates how often breaches happen, as far as I know, the ones that they get called in. We got K Cedilla Cannon, Eated Anti-Tank, Tesla Tower. Napalm Strike. Primary weapon, Incendiary Breaker. Secondary, Grenade Pistol. Grenade, Stun. And my armor is going to have more grenades. And also reduce recoil when crouched or prone. It's light? I, no, it's medium. It's medium. For this mission, you don't really need to have heavy armor or light armor. I think medium is a good middle ground to take a bit less damage and also have better movement speed and stamina. I'm throwing down my first anti-tank and supply pack on this balcony. I'll be camping there for a bit. And then we walk down to close the gates, which don't really do a whole lot, but it gives me some security. So why not? My goal is going to be to have as many anti-tanks down as possible. I need those to one shot chargers. I need those to potentially two shot titans, hopefully. And the thing that makes this mission hard is when you don't two shot bile titans. And also when they spawn about five or six at a time, in which case, well, you don't have the ability to deal with it. So what makes this mission so difficult is the RNG aspect. It's also the fact that bugs don't really have the most meaningful weak spots as compared to automatons. I'll explain why that's crazy later. Not crazy, but why bugs are harder than automatons, even though folks disagree. Now, I'm trying to figure out my life here with the Tesla Tower placement. There, it can kill me, but I believe these little guardrail things, as long as they don't get broken, it doesn't have the height to one-shot me unless I get too close to the edge. You see how there's that raised edge? There's an open space on the left near the supply pack, and to the right, there's that border. That border is going to keep me alive for a bit. Anywho... As far as meaningful weak spots go, I can two-shot a tank with two impact grenades. Bile Titans, no shot, son. And the head hit shot, the weak spot hitbox on Bile Titans is basically their forehead. And that's a very small region. So you have to be pretty dead nuts accurate to land those shots correctly. Here, I'm just putting damage in. I'm not trying to aim for anything crazy. I just want to damage it a little bit. Because the more damage on it, the more I can miss if I do. And we're chilling. I could have maybe waited, but I would have saved two whole seconds for the right moment to shoot. That was a forehead shot. And I know it's weak, so I leave it be. I run away. The gates are holding fine right now. I guess there's no charger or titan on the left gate. What I've noticed with the bugs, the first two gates, if one gets broken, the second one can cause them to sort of glitch out a little bit and try and walk around and get stuck in place a lot. But once they're both broken, that subsides a little bit, and they then usher themselves in. I've called down two anti-tanks so far, and I think I've put them on this little ledge so I can hot swap them. Oh my gosh, I remembered. Oh, that tilted me in the game in real time and also watching it. The hitbox on the Tesla Tower is massive, dude. It's massive. It's blocked many a shot from me. <laughs> it's so annoying. Why is it like that, man? So now I'm just stunning these guys. I'm trying to build them up. Just because I have so many extra supplies for grenades, I figured why not. You can stun chargers, but you cannot stun Bile Titans anymore. Before, you could stun Titans, and it was a little too easy. That made sense that they changed that. But you could also use a stun grenade and chain them into an EMS strike. Or an EMS, an EMS orbital. I don't know if the EMS mortar would stun them. I know that EMS strike in conjunction with stun grenade would keep them concussed for a while. So he's kind of lost in the sauce. Not sure why exactly, but he is just stuck in the doorknob. 
replacing my Tesla Tower. We are. I already noticed. I'm missing one of those little pieces to my balcony. That could be a little bit of an issue. Incendiary Breaker is so good, man. I did this in a group, and I don't believe they fixed the dot bug to where you get... They haven't made it to where you get full damage from your dots and when you're playing with people, you're not the host. Right there, though, I two-shot the Bow Titan, and that's what we want to see. It's easily... It's the best to do that when you have a little bit of distance and they're spewing. That's why I don't usually like breaking their spew sacks. Because then it makes it tougher to shoot them in the face. And you could also do the lineup. Wait, I'm stunning the chargers. Headshot. Gotta be quick here. Better headshot. And I got taken out by my own stuff. I could be wearing the arc armor. But the goal isn't to get hit by my own Tesla Tower at all. Right there. I think I chose to kill that charger. I could have landed up top. But the charger had to die. Otherwise it kills my tower. And even though my tower killed me, I just don't think that revenge was the play. So I let it live. Gate play. I'm going to have to try my best to get the gate alive. If a Bile Titan is near your gate, or a Charger is near your gate, open that jondal, son. Otherwise, it's getting broken regardless. But when you open it, they tend to defocus it rather quickly. And I'm also not sure if opening it gives it some iframes so it can't be broken. But you have to be playing expert level doorman. I believe it's my second napalm strike, if not the first. I can't tell. It's a number. The one I see on my screen is really hard to see. But napalm, my goal is throwing it diagonally so they walk through it longer. I do want to see if it can kill a charger if they stick in it. If you just put a, if you put a napalm strike on a charger and have it stew in it like a crockpot, surely it kills it. If you keep stunning it over and over again. I'll test that another time. And now, I have my cooldown up for Tesla Tower. I can place it somewhere, but I'm not sure where. I can also keep it. Sometimes you place down both Tesla Towers, and it just becomes a hassle. I may throw it on the left side here. I kind of hope I'm, I don't do that. The two shots, I believe. Or was it already weak? Who knows? Who broke my Tesla Tower? What the heck, boy? Oh, fun fact. You can place your, you can place your Tesla Tower... Words are hard. You can place your Tesla Tower where my supply pack is right there. And Bow Titans will sometimes accidentally have their legs phase through it and one-shot your tower when they're just walking around. Because the Bow Titans are big, and this map isn't that big. So I expect, I expect that kind of stuff to happen. Just be aware when it comes to corners and edges and whatnot. It's going pretty well in terms of hitting my shots with the anti-tanks, and that goes a long way. I believe what I did there was a mistake. I threw my Tesla Tower to the left side, but that means that if charges go for it, their head won't be facing towards me. They'll be facing towards it, and I will have a much harder time one shot. Yep, there it is. You're better off having the tower be towards you, where the mobs pushing the objective, or it, are facing you. And I didn't do that. But I also didn't want to get one-shot by anymore, so I placed it over there. It's tough using Tesla Tower, even though it's super good. And I've noticed... Did it kill both of them? No. I've noticed Tesla Tower is so inconsistent. Sometimes it'll chain and get 10 kills in one lightning strike over and over and over again. And that's when it's absolutely goaded. And I mean against the small enemies that we're seeing a lot of here. But other times... It won't kill the bugs efficiently at all, but it finds a way to one-shot you in the most crazy way possible. It'll target you from the furthest point possible. Hey man, them dive shots? Gotta get them under wraps. I almost got one shot there by the leg. <laughs> it gave me a swift pat saying, good job there, brother. Nice shot, man. I'd be careful not to shoot the generator, but to get things off of it with fire damage. They doff be doing good damage. Or I can also mess it, mess it up as well. Luckily, the small chaff enemies don't do all too much to the generators. That is where that's that's where the balance comes in. That's where the balance comes into play here. My brain is always racing. Too much going on. Oof! 
it raises body barely because it's homie. And I missed the headshot on that guy. But I'm alive. And I'm swimming. Oh, that charger dying there is huge. That charger got stepped on or spewed on by the Baltite. I and mean, that's massive. You would think right here. This guy has two Quasar Cannons. I think I tossed down both, no? If not, I'm close to it. He has two Quasar Cannons. Surely he can't lose. Brother, I don't have the ability to shoot them. There's not enough time in the day. So the anti-tanks end up being way more clutch. I toss down multiple just in case. That way, if I swap the anti-tank and run away, I'll have potentially another thing around. Did he get hit by that drop down too? But these towers have not been living. It'd be wiser to use mortars on this mission and the mortar is driving nuts. Oh my gosh. I did this mission one time with teammates and all they did was use mortars, which is smart to use. I'm not, I'm not saying don't use mortars. What I am saying, they make the mission less fun for me. And again, use what you want to use. But I do kind of wish there was a way, an incentive to not use mortars in some fashion or form. Because they, do, they do too much. You place them in the safest spot possible, they can't get broken, and they spam like crazy. They're just too much value for so for such little not skill, but such little What's the word? Coming in hot. Investment. And forward thinking. Those are words. So far one generator's broke. And now I have one left. One and it's getting the brakes beaten off of it by these monsters. As we saw there, there may be a few bugs piled up. I guess there's traffic. And here I'm just peppering them gamers. Get off my generator. He's still alive. Sending down support weapon. I don't know if this placement was good for me or not. This is why Quasar comes in clutch. Now you may be asking yourself, why not use the spear and camp up top? There's even higher, higher ground than this that you could be on and be spamming spear shots. The reason is the spear does not lock on well. I tried it. I went up top. It's hard to see because the lighting of this mission right now is a bit dork. But there's stairs to my right. And that's the highest high ground that I'm aware of. I was up there spamming spear shots when the game would let me. But oftentimes, I'd have a perfect shot lined up. And it simply would not let me lock on. And that was tilting beyond belief. And it's just rough having to sit there and reload when there's multiple bow titans. If you could have lock on work properly or have a manual firing mode, spear would be goaded in this mode. Or playing in a group. Playing in a group, spear is pretty good. Because you get more time to do stuff since your teammates can help you out killing stuff. But I would still rock Quasar Cannon plus eat it. It's just me. Unless my teammates are team reloading. Since I just don't particularly love spending a year and a day to reload. Not my cup of tea. I do believe there's a bunch of bugs piled up there still. And that may be a key factor in this mission going not super smoothly, but smoother than it would. It'll only be rough if there's a bunch of chargers. Alright, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be kind of rough. There's a bunch of chargers. Hey, we can test that theory. Can you flame broil a charger? He just walks through, hits me, shoulder checks me, and goes straight for the generator. Now, I do wonder how many reapplies of the dots from fire damage would you need to then kill a broodmother as well? They bug breached in my base? I used to call you on a cell phone. Why are you doing that? Charger's charging. Gotta stop them real quick. I think I keep him. <gasps> Any closer, and he one shots that generator, man. Luckily, the Bow Titan, if he's correcting his stance any further than that, same deal. I believe I got lucky there. Diving backwards helped me out. Oh, the Titan went for my Tesla Tower. Rude. I've been trying to throw them a bit further back, but not close. You can't throw your stuff close to generators. If you do, a charger will charge it and break your generator instantly. If I put it a bit further to the side, 
Or at least I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Wait. I'm trying to get into the mind of a Douglas. It is tough. In 15 seconds, I believe I throw it pretty much in line with the console there. Resupply. It's really hard to see resupplies on this map, given the lighting. Right there. I throw it over there. I'm hoping it can reach the bugs on the generator if they go there. Take another peek, see over the edge there. No? Give it a gander. I wonder how many bugs piled up now. Which I'm not sure why they piled up. This is not me intentionally making it so they don't go forward. It could be the gate never broke. And the gate being intact makes him act weird. I don't know. I'm killing that guy just in case. I was wondering. They bug breached again in my house? I was wondering if killing that charger would unleash the floodgates. But we're good. The sadness is that flame strike hits so much of the wall and not so much of the bugs on the other side of it. Still getting a lot of kills though. Doing decent. There's a couple bugs. But not too many chargers. It wouldn't be a big... It's not a big deal unless there's a whole group of chargers. But man, them bug breaches are vicious. So, I don't know if I explained it, but localization confusion, as far as I know, it makes it so the bug breaches that are called in manually happen less often. That's what I've been told. Not 100%. But that's what I've been told. And if that works in this mission, that does help. Because as we're seeing, they be snitching. Just a little bit. Now one module that, one boost that does nothing here would be the one that makes it so your extraction is faster. Because the evac ship is called instantly. I've been seeing folks run that on these missions. I don't quite know why. But maybe it has a hidden buff I'm not sure of. I'm not trying to mess things up. You don't understand. It took me three hours to get this far. Before, the closest I got was five out of eight. And before that, it's usually two out of eight, maybe one out of eight, because you just get rolled. Yeah, so it's a bit of a bummer that this happened. But at the same time, I don't think it's possible if you don't have this occur. There's simply too much going on, and it takes way too much to kill the Battle Titans. This mission, the reason why it's so challenging solo, is the RNG aspect. You have a chance to have five or six or even eight Battle Titans spawn at roughly the same time and press W on you. There's nothing you can do. A KG bomb? Sometimes it won't even kill one Titan. You think it's gonna kill four? Which will only be half of what I just said number wise. Oh, wait. Kill streak. Could be the highest ever for your boy. New PR. New PR. Personnel record. We hit 90 or what? No. Commit. Wait, 87. No. 90 would have been a crazy PR to hit real quick. 87. That's the PR going forward. Here, I'm just farming kills. I was thinking I had a lot more than I, I did. There's freaking six charges over there. Those would have made it difficult to play the game. I just simply don't have enough anti-tank for those guys. And chargers, when you don't shoot them in the face with an anti-tank, take forever to kill. Because shooting the weak spot would require roughly my entire magazine in this weapon. How long do I sit here for? I think I get bored right here. I shoot that. I maybe airstrike. Oh, I shoot this one too. Oh my gosh. I was milking this. Then I airstrike and then I leave. This mission, it's kind of fun, but it's not rewarding. No samples to be gotten. It's fun to do for a challenge, I think. Fun to do once to see if you can do it, even though I got lucky there. But aside from that, there's no reason to do it. I much more enjoy doing the sample farming missions on the arrow shield 
icons. All right, go ahead and rate the Yap session. Zero through ten. I give it a solid seven out of ten for sure. Your max potential is four... 444 experience and 2k requisitions is not too wild on top of not getting many samples or any samples at all or credits or slips it is a fun mission I, I do want to see them experiment more with defense style missions it'd be cool to have stuff built into the base you could use that were beneficial to you sort of like the HMG emplacements but cooler Maybe a railgun emplacement. Shooting a giant rail blast. A rail cannon emplacement. That'd be nuts. Only 483 kills. I failed this mission earlier and had 650. A halfway mark. Maybe mortars. I hate mortars so much. What did I do for this? I've done nothing to deserve what's happening here. He was trying to freaking jump, make that phone call with the swiftness. I hate mortars so much. I hate mortars so much, it's not even funny. Not only do they play the game for you, they also make it so you can't play the game for yourself because you they kill you. The tower's kind of doing big things. The tower's doing massive things. 11 kills, 21 kills. What the things mowing if it's a safe spot where it won't get focused by the bugs I discovered some tech for the solo run you all have borders I have Tesla towers we are not the same dude what's even over here stop dude <laughs> I hate mortars so much <laughs> 